TV. I'm your host, Chanel B, artist, songwriter, producer, and CEO of London Records. Today we have a wonderful show for you guys here on our quarantine edition, part one, here with Dawn Haskin. Stay tuned, check it out. All right, hi everybody. We are here. <laughs> Welcome to Urban Ish TV on Roku. I am your host, Chanel B, artist, songwriter, singer, producer, and CEO of London Records. And today we have an awesome show for you guys. We have the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, thank Dawn, you. Dawn, Dawn, <laughs> hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this edition of uh, Quarantine and Chill. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> thank you so very much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So here at Urban Ish TV, on this show particularly, we go and we dig into the back end, the back stories of people who have traveled to where we want to go, um, whose past has lit the way for us to follow, to make sure that we have, you know, sometimes that saying, if I knew what I, if I know now what I knew back then. Mm -hmm. So by reaching into your story, your life, how you are, your entrepreneurship, um, yeah. Library, you know, all of that. We look into that to, to basically just give a leg up to entrepreneurs who are also trying to do the same that you're doing or take another path that leads them to eventually the same thing. So we do appreciate you for coming, taking time. No <laughs> so, uh, how are you doing in these trying times, Don? With the you know. Honestly, I'm going to tell you, like I've been telling everyone, I'm alive, I'm healthy, and I'm extremely blessed. Yeah. You know, that's first things first. Um, besides being locked down, you know, and all of the productions on on hold, right. um, I'm doing fairly well. I have no complaints at all. Good. <laughs> well, yes. Being blessed and basically not having the Rona as we say. Okay. <laughs> Look, make sure you wear my mask if I have to step right. out washing my hands my hands are so <laughs> ashy I have hand sanitizer all of the above I have it like if, if, if we're supposed to use it right now trust me I have it good, good, good. so take us back to how you started and why you started oh okay yeah um, I actually got my career I actually got my career started. Um, it was I was watching the news one day, and there was this open casting call for a soap opera show. Mm -hmm. And I don't really remember what the soap opera show was, but I had a, I was working in uh, corporate America at that time. I had a nine to five, so I said, okay. I told myself, I'm just going to go down there and audition and see what happens, you know. Right. And to my surprise, like, first when I got there. I was discouraged because the line was wrapped around the building. There was so many, it was like American Idol. <laughs> and I was like, what am I doing here? Right. So I'm like, what am I doing here? But when I had the opportunity to audition, I auditioned and I made it to the next round. So I was like, oh, okay. So I made it to the next, no acting experience whatsoever. Yeah. Um, I made it to the next round and then I made it to the next day a callbacks. And then after the next day, I made it to the next, the, the day, the day after that, which was, um, a lead actor, uh, who was on the show. They wanted to see us side by side and, you know, just kind of see how we work with the, um, the opposite of the characters. And when I tell you, that's when I realized that, okay, this is what I really want to do. But, um, as far as actually being in the industry, I used, I started off doing like extra. Well, after that, I started uh, looking for work like on Craigslist. That's when Craigslist was really popular. And uh, Tyler Perry, you know, he was always looking for extras. Right. So I started doing extra work there on House of Pain and then stand-in work and then stand-in work on other projects. And like that, that's the beginning of my story. And I'm so thankful for it. Well, I'm thankful that you did that because a lot of people think that they have to, you know, it's all, some people think that it's all about who you know and all you gotta do is there. But or even, it's not that you didn't want to act, but it wasn't a main thing for you to try to go, and, you know, that being the focal point of, okay, I'm gonna make a career and a living out of this. Right. You know? So that's right. 
That's awesome because that shows yeah. people you just have to have the drive. You have to have the, the want, passion to really push yourself to want to do that. So that is amazing. But are there any my, my <laughs> humble beginnings? <laughs> Makes you really humble and yeah. appreciative too. Appreciate yes. that. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. As mm -hmm. an actress, mm -hmm. are there any roles that you would not take? You know, I I get asked that question a lot. And for me, um, you know, for me, and it's just because um, I'm very mindful of my nieces and nephews being so young age. And um, right now I can say that um, I wouldn't take on any nudity roles. Okay. And that's because, you know, all the projects that I've done, they see me on t television, you know, and they're like, oh, that's Auntie Dawn, or, you know, whatever the situation is. <laughs> and I don't want them to, you know, and I, it's just I, I just, I think just for me, it's just, I just can't do any nudity at the, you know, ask me this question in about 10 years. I'm like, girl, they owe me a million dollars. I did it. I sure did. <laughs> you know, you, I mean, just, but for, me, for myself, you know, right now, I just, right now, I just can't say myself. I Well, right now, I just don't see myself doing any nudity, you know, just for that reason. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's understandable. I, I think that if, that is me, I probably have the same thing. Just because there's a lot of family members. You yeah. Know, and how, you know, you would get, how you got started is kind of like, eh. Yeah. Not, you know, not saying anything to those who, do that absolutely yeah. to, to each his own to each his own like right. i said and then <laughs> you know nowadays they like to bring up old tweets and old interviews and everything like that so that's why they asked me this in 10 years maybe things will change i mean i don't know you know i just like to say if wherever god leads me to whatever role you know then of course i'll i'll pray about it and right. then i'll Make sure that I bring the best performance as possible. <laughs> and that's all that <laughs> so, so that's like a form of staying true to yourself. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. What are the values of you staying true to yourself as an actress? Besides the, like the no nudity, you know, mm -hmm. because there are some people that get out here and they just... Everything is just, you know, anything you know, else. I feel like it's um, it's it's about your character. You know, I feel like it starts with your character before you become an actor. Right. So, you know, if there's certain things, if there's certain opportunities, or if someone said, "Hey, I'll give you this money," or "I'll give you this for this," and I'm and I've never been that type of person, right. even before acting came along. Right. So, I just think it's my morals, you know. Um, it's just my characteristics. It's, it's a lot about myself and the way I carry myself. And um, even with my family, like my foundation is very strong. My family right. is very supportive. And so I think that has a lot to do with um, also how I was raised mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. my beliefs, you know. Um, and it just it just starts from there. It starts from that root. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So as some of you guys know, okay. is she has played... Pretty awesome roles. <laughs> Thank you. Series. We got Saints and Sinners, and you know, a lot of these series that you are in, they have you on the edge of your seat. I've watched plenty of them, and I love you in every last one of them. Thank you. Yeah, very amazing. But I want to talk to you about some of the roles like you, you know, that you absolutely, absolutely did amazing in. Like, how were those roles for you? Where you feel like you feel like oh I did I did that like that was yeah that was that part you know uh, I think one of my favorite I mean of, of course besides Angela on Saints and Sinners you know I have so much fun playing Angela but um, I think it's so funny when people see um, Angela on television and see how she is and see her mischievous <laughs> ways and see how grimy she is and then they meet me in person and they're thrown back and they're like wait a second. <laughs> you're not like Angela at all. I'm like, right. no, like that's the character, you know, it's acting and you know, my personality is totally different from, you know, how Angela is. But right. um besides her, one of my favorite characters to play was uh 
was Agent Cooper in Tales. Yes. So, yeah, and I think it was just because that was a totally different character that people were used to seeing me as. And um, I got to take the eyelashes off. I got to pull the hair back. And, you know, I, I, I was um, able to bring, a, a you know, a, a more stern kind of character, you know, and, you know, talk about, you know, uh, the drugs and, you know, uh, just being backstabbing kind of. Right. You know, but, you know, <laughs> Working alongside with the oh so talented, you know, oh, oh, oh gosh, I just, I just, his name just left my tongue. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. But that character, Agent Cooper, was one of my favorite characters as of right now, besides, you know, oh gosh, who else? Oh, and then I have a, I have a role coming up in like two weeks on In the Cut, which is also on um, Bounce. Right. Um, I played Jordan. And uh, that character, she was a comedic, it was a comedic role for me. So that was fun as well. So to be honest, all the characters that I booked, all the roles I booked, I have so much fun. I'm just so thankful for them. So mm -hmm. awesome. And Agent Cooper from Tales, BET. Yeah. So we're BET, yes. Out for that. Mm -hmm. um, yes. You know, and it's amazing. Do you detach yourself? <laughs> as who you are to fit the characters? Like, how do you prepare to become a certain character um, on sets, like on different sets? Like you're saying you had the dramatic, you've had the, you know, now you're about to do like a comedy type yeah. thing. Um, you were, you know, like how, how do you dispatch yourself to become uh, that character? Well, to be honest with you, once I receive, whether it's just an audition, I always, you know, I receive the sides or I receive the script and I go through it. And uh, first I read through, if I have the script, I read through the whole script so I can get an understanding of exactly how the story is supposed to be told. Yeah. And then I'll go back and I'll read like my character and I just focus uh, solely on my character alone so that I can really, you know, see how depth like okay what what is this character uh, doing what is this character wearing how is this character moving i like to get that uh, deep into the character but um how i really detach myself as a you know from myself to the character is just i just turn the whole world off and then i focus only on the role and it's okay. just like okay grind time is business it's time to get to it and then that's it's really about that you know because you don't want to get to set and you don't want to not know your lines or you don't want, it's, it's really about business. You want to make sure you're always on top of your game. And that's right. what's most. So. so what has been your greatest accomplishment as an actress? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I feel like I haven't really gotten to where I want to be just yet. Right. So I'm always like, okay, you know what? Uh, I, although I'm enjoying my journey now, it's like, okay, I'm always, I'm, I'm always thinking of my next step. So it's like, okay, so I know I have this character lined up or I have this job lined up, right. but at the same time, girl, this is going to, this is going to be for like a month. You got to figure out what you're going to be doing next month as well, because right. you know, it's a hustle. It's a, it's a true hustle in this industry right. and you have to make sure you keep your head above water. Yeah. So, um, that being an actress, I also stepped into producing, which I love. And then also I'm writing also. And, um, I love honestly, all three. Like I couldn't put, I wouldn't put, if I was like, if I, if, and I also want to direct at some point in time too. So, oh, you know, cool. that's, that's far in the future, but right now I'm very thankful of where I am. But of course I would like to be, you know, I have some, I have some time to, you know, really uh, just, just continue to do what I'm doing. Yeah. It's a process. You're going to get there because you're practicing. You're getting everything in order to make sure that you master this now we'll move on to this now we're gonna match this now we're gonna try this and then because of who you already are and of course your accolades you already mm -hmm. can basically move on to the directing part the production oh, yeah. part and you already yeah. know what it'll captivate and what absolutely entail to be behind the scenes and that's amazing because then you can give a, a threat <laughs> absolutely 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 yeah. so who are your inspirations because you're an inspiration to many of us you know who, who are your inspirations or who is your inspiration well I can honestly say that those who I know who 
been grinding alongside with me who are doing big things um, are who inspire me like um, Anthony Dalton, who's on Sisters. Like he's a very good friend of mine, but I know his story. I know his grind. And he inspires me to continue to push forward with my career. Um, oh my gosh, it's a numerous of other, you know, of my very close friends who are also actors. You know, uh, Kenny, uh, Ken, excuse me, I call him Kenny, Kendrick Cross, who is on uh, Ambitions. Mm -hmm. He's also a good friend of mine. You know, uh, Ambitions is now on Stars, as well as he books everything. But um, I think that with their, they're, they're gen them just being genuine souls. You have to, I surround myself with people who are not only friends who are going to, who are going to inspire me to be great right. as, a, but they're all, they also inspire me to be great as an individual because, right. you know, when there's no work, we have each other, you know, we can call each other, we can lean on each other, we can talk to each other, not just about, you know, acting but also about personal lives and I just love them for that because I feel like you know you surround yourself with good people you will continue to be great and then that just passes along right so yeah but so with then better flock together so if you fly, there you go absolutely absolutely now with the a-listers of course I love me some Viola Davis I love <laughs> you know, Queen. I love Denzel. I love uh, Melissa McCartney. Like those are my top four. Like if I could ever work with any of those, I'm like, okay, I made it, Sally. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> that would be a blessing. So you never know. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like it's a. So what would get you to that point to where you'd be like, I made it aside from working with Denzel or you know some of those people. What would get Dawn to say, I did it? Like, oh my gosh, I did it. You, to be honest with you, I feel like it's, it's, it's always going to, for myself, I'm always going to be like, I want more. I want yeah. more. I want more. It's always going to be that drive. Right. It's always, I don't think that I'm ever going to be like, okay, I made it. No, I don't ever think I'm going to be like that because I just feel like there's so much more that I want to do. Okay. And there's so much more that I know I can do in this industry. I was speaking to a really good friend of mine who, uh, Mark Harris, and I asked him, okay, so when do you think that you're going to retire? He was like, oh, I'm not. I said, oh, me either. <laughs> oh, me either. So we can't embarrass him. We're not going to retire. We're just going to stay in this industry forever. But um, yeah, so as long as, you know, I'm creating, as long as, you know, I'm doing the best that's that's all that really matters right and mm -hmm. you're gonna get there i'm excited I'm ready absolutely Oscar, you know what i'm saying <laughs> thank you <Yes. laughs> i've been speaking it i have that in my i am speech every morning <laughs> yeah you got to have i, I am affirmation yep. and yes. that's, the yes. that's the best absolutely and they'll always come back around full surface straight to you absolutely absolutely i do have one more question Okay. Have you ever had anxiety on set? I wouldn't say um, anxiety. Uh, it, there was one, I guess, not really a challenge, but one situation where um, my mother, she was sick. She was placed in hospice. Mm -hmm. And this is when I first booked uh, my role on Saints and Sinners. And so this is right before we went into production and everything and she was already in hospice. And I was like, okay, I can't tell you. I, did, I didn't want to uh, tell anyone because I didn't want to be removed from the production. I didn't want them to write me off. So every morning I would get up and I would go to hair and makeup and then I would go back or I would go to my trailer and I would just bawl my eyes out, not knowing if I was going to get a phone call that, you know, my mother had passed. But um, I'm so thankful that she and I, uh, we talked when she was better and she always told me how proud of me she was and how uh, she made sure that I continued to follow my dream. She was like, you you continue, whatever you do, this, make this promise, like whatever you do, do not quit, do not give up. And I made that promise to her. And, but that was still probably the most, I mean, the hardest thing that I've ever had to deal with. And I said, you know, being, being raised an only child and yes. my mother being my best friend, yeah. like, you know, she was a single mother. And so dealing with that, um, I said, you know what, if, if I can get through that and, you know, come out and, you know, I, I praise God. And, you know, although, you know, she lost her battle and um, I keep her in my prayers, but I know she's always with me. Mm -hmm. I think that was definitely the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with in my life. 
Right. And yeah, but other than that, like I'm like anything else is easy breezy. I can deal with anything. <laughs> the hardest part is over. Yeah. Over, yeah. You know what I'm saying because you you just yeah. have to you know, have to kind of cope with it daily. But mm -hmm. you know, if, if you can get through that, you can, it, yes, it made you stronger. So. Yes, and you know, it was so many people, so many of my friends are, you know, different friends who reached out to me and, you know, I prayed for them who had similar stories and they didn't know how to press forward. Yeah. And I'm, again, I'm just so thankful that I have genuine friends around me who, you know, you know, who listened to me, you know, when I needed to talk or who yeah. would, had their shoulders for me when I needed to cry or, you know, whatever the situation is, who sent, um, you know, Bible scriptures to me. And I'm, I'm just so thankful. So yeah. thankful. I got some good people around me. I got a good team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the most important thing is just to mm -hmm. have the right people around you that want yeah. you and that want to, you know, uplift you because then down times, you already know whose shoulder you can lean on mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of that. So, so I can trust when I, you know, when I, when, when things are, you want to be able to trust someone when things are good, but also when things aren't good. Yes. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Absolutely. So I know I said that was your last question. Now we're getting into the end of our segment. Okay. So I do have a few more things just to kind of give entrepreneurs some leeway. As, you know, what would you tell some of the entrepreneurs, the people who are trying to the industry as well, the entertainment industry. Right. Um, I would definitely, I would definitely uh, encourage them to do their research. Right. Um, it's very important um, for me. Uh, if things are definitely different from when I started acting to actors who are just now getting in the in, who are just now getting in the industry. Um, when I got started, you know, all I had to do was submit a few uh, hard copy headshots. Um, and resumes around to local, uh, you know, agents, agencies where now agents, they don't, there's no walk-ins, there's referrals only. Yes. And so, you know, uh, the only thing that I try to explain to them is, you know, make sure you network, make sure you do your research, you know, study, you know, read. And um, everyone's journey is not the same. So, you know, what works for me, may not work for the next person. So I just try to encourage, inspire, and motivate as much as I can. And we appreciate that. We yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> so what is, like, what, what's the main thing that you can't wait to do when quarantine, when they say we're free, no more shelter, you guys are good. <laughs> Girl, I'm going to do some jumping jacks. I'm going to meet up with my girls. Like, I don't, I don't know. There's so, I feel like I'm a, I'm going to feel like a kid in a candy store because there's so much I want to do. Yes. Like, this is stuff I see on, on, on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I remember I could go outside and I could just enjoy it. Like, <laughs> right now, my friends and I are talking about how much we just want to lay by the pool and we can't yes. like, oh, the pools are closed. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can't even do anything like that. But, you know, of course, you know, the main thing is getting back to work. I'm excited to get back to work whenever all this is over. Yeah. Um, but, you know, meeting up with my friends, I'm, you know, I, I'm able to FaceTime with them and FaceTime with my family and everything yeah. like that. But what, like, like, like getting around, around them, like nothing like, hey, yeah. like I can hug you. Yeah. Talk to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, like I said, everyone's wearing masks now. People look at you funny if you cough. So, yes. <laughs> and, I mean, gosh, I was like, I think like, you got to deal with the pollen. So it's like, yes. the pollen. You're I'm like, that's so sick. Like, absolutely. I'm really absolutely. <laughs> like, I, I just can't wait to till this is over with. Let's just say yeah. that. Yeah, but I'm, you know, uh -huh. I've been praying and you know, I've definitely been praying for the loss of yes. for, for the victims and the, their families and everything like that, because there's so many lives that have been lost. Yes. And I'm very, very thankful to the doctors and nurses who've been putting in overtime work and him put their um, lives in on the line. And, you know, they go home to their families and they really can't. I'm like, whoa, I'm, blind. I'm just so thankful. I just really been keeping a lot of people in prayer. Yeah. And <laughs> mm -hmm. that's what the world needs. That's what God's trying to probably yes. get these people to focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, focus and sit down. He was like, I'm going to sit down. down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> sit down. Sit down. 
So, Dawn, it was so wonderful having you here. Oh. I wish you were here. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. Well, I have to come there when, what, what, sometime soon, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. please yeah. do. <laughs> we take thank you again. Taking the time out of your busy schedule again. So- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you all so very much. And again, you look beautiful. Thank you. You so beautiful. too. Yes. I love that hair. This is my quarantine hair. <laughs> right. I'm trying to grow mine while we wait. And I'm trying to get some growth. Let's get it. Yes. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you again. Thank I appreciate you. you. So guys, all your viewers, we appreciate you guys for chilling with us on this quarantine time. So make sure you guys go follow. And also, tell us where we can follow you at. Tell us like yes. on all social media flat, um, platforms. This is just my first and last name, which is Dawn, D-A-W-N. And my last name, Halfkenny, H-A-L-F-K-E-N-N-Y. And what else do you have coming up besides a, a, a new show? I know you said you had a book. <laughs> what yes, uh, uh, I have a show in two weeks that'll be airing on Bounce Television bounce tv which is uh well um, i have an episode um it's called in the cut and i play the role of jordan and it's it's a comedic role everyone tune in it's so much fun it's it's definitely a laugh (laughs) it's a different side of me (laughs) yes yeah so guys make sure you go follow dawn and make sure you watch her on bounce tv yes know where she's playing jordan so we're excited Mm -hmm. also our prayers are out to all of the families yeah. And everybody who is suffering from the COVID-19 during this pandemic crisis, we're alone together. So yeah. just stay in the house, stay quarantined. Yeah. Stay whatever you have to keep mm-hmm. you vitamins, hand sanitizer, yeah. wipes, toilet tissue, you know. Mask, all of the above. Yeah. <laughs> Mask, everything. Just be mm-hmm. safe. Again, follow Urban Ish TV on all social media platforms. And we thank you, love you, and appreciate that. Bye. Bye. Thank you.